Hello everyone and welcome back to New Hope Tarot where we will be doing a pick a card reading for what is your wish and is it being fulfilled reading. Please select your pile along with your stone and I will meet you there. If you are picking pile number one, that is the green of entering. If you're picking pile number two, that is the rose quartz. If you're picking pile number three, that is the carnelian stone. Each have the selenite stone to enhance the energies of each one. Meet you at your pile. Hello, pile number one. You have selected the green aventurine along with the selenite. And I did choose two stones, the green of entering and, uh, and well, I, put, I chose each stone and then the selenite to enhance the properties, okay? So let's take a look at your reading here. We have Magic Stream, Beaver Spirit, Cow Spirit, protect your dream, or dreams rather. Oh, you have more than one. We have the Sun, Ten of Wands, Page of Swords, Knight of Cups, and the Star. Wow. Okay, okay, let's take a look here. Let's dive in. Magic stream. Wow, it's, it is quite magical, this imagery. There's even a rainbow on here. It, it, I'm just getting the sense of continual income. It, it's like you set something in motion and... And things just come abundantly. It, it just it's set on automatic, and it's just it's just coming on. And we even have a uh, I think not a stork. What is this? Uh, a heron. On this, this is a beautiful card. So it looks like you might be flowing in abundance here. Let's find out what the rest of the cards are saying here. We have Beaver Spirit. Lay a solid foundation. We have cow spirit. The miracles are endless. Yeah, with this beaver spirit, I mean, really, it you really can't say much about this. You know, you you when you're setting up something that is set, that is trying to continuously bring in revenue, I, I feel like this is about setting a solid foundation because you don't want to miss a step, all right? And then we have a, or have a misstep rather. Then we have this cow spirit and right off the bat, it's about endless miracles. I mean, hello, I, it really doesn't get any better than this. And I just see things blooming, just it's gorgeous. And I see you very patient, you know, working diligently like the beaver and just kind of moseying along like the cow, you know, just endless, just I, an endless supply, an endless stream of income. I love, love, love this. All right. So with Protect Your Dreams, it reads, you are the guardian of your precious dreams and they are safe in your care. Keep them close to your heart until they're ready or until you're ready to release them. Flat out, this is strictly about you keeping this a secret and just basically keeping it to yourself, making sure that you're not putting it out there so nobody puts their heebie-jeebie negative vibes on them. All right, you want you want to lay this foundation solid without this negative um, attitude because people can get jealous. People, um, 
you know, will throw hate sometimes. And, and I know that sounds terrible, but sadly, it's the truth, right? And, and what we want to do is that we want to make sure that we keep your dream protected. We want to make sure that this has a chance to flourish before anybody decides that they want to put in their heebie-jeebies in here. All right, now we have the sun, ten of wands, and page of swords. Now, right off the bat, we have the sun, and the sun is brilliant. This is you glowing. Not only that, it's got these sunflowers, and in the cow spirit, we have a lot of these wildflowers, and the, uh, there are sunflowers as well on it. it. They're not the same type of sunflowers, but they're still sunflowers. And again, I'm just getting this pure abundance, abundance. Just, I'm feeling a whole lot of abundance. I'm really loving this. And again, remember I said about the beaver working diligently with this 10 of wands, I feel like there's, you're doing a lot, but I feel like you're happy to do it. I, I'm getting this energy of, I got this, you know, I'm, I'm just going to work through and, and, and work ahead and, and just keep on chugging along because I see that you actually are enjoying this. I feel like this is something that really genuinely makes you happy. Then we have the page of swords and the page of swords. What I'm getting with this particular card is, is like you're, you're planning. I, I, I see you planning things out. I, I see you not dictating, but just working diligently and and planning things where where you are trying to trying to schedule things out and and trying to hit your markers to make sure that this is that your foundation is solid so for instance let's say you know you're trying to steadily build i i feel like you're constantly checking okay, this is what I plan to hit. Okay, have I hit it? Check, great. And then you adjust accordingly. Oh, I haven't hit it? Okay, we will adjust accordingly. I feel like you're doing all of your due diligence to try to make sure that this is a success. Flat out, this is what I'm seeing. I also am seeing that it is taking a while for this to come to fruition. But honestly, with the sun and the star here, I, I feel like your hard work is going to pay off. I feel like it has to build in order for it to gain the recognition that it deserves, the rightly um, recognition that it deserves. Then we have the Knight of Cups and the star. Immediately, we have the sun and the star in the same reading. That to me, for a lot of people, that means fame and fortune. I just, to me, I feel like that reads more of, you're going to bright, really, you're going to bright, really shine. You're going to shine really, really brightly in whatever field you're in. You are going to stand out above the rest, Re regardless of what it is you're doing. I just feel like you're going to stand out. And then with the Knight of Cups, I feel like this is about, I feel like you're going to get invitations to places. I feel like you're going to be attracting a lot of attention um, with this Knight of Cups. And I feel like people are going to really be lifting you up. And and, and I feel like you're going to be getting offers. Um, like I, I don't know what it is you do. So let's say you're a speaker. Maybe you'll get... Um, uh, called to do a TED talk, maybe, maybe you are an expert in whatever field, you know, or you're seen as an expert in this particular field. So you're getting an offer to say, Hey, can you teach us what it is you're doing? That's the kind of energy that I'm seeing here. I love this. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to get, um, some advice. Let me see what additional feedback Spirit wants to give you. What advice do they want to give you? And, oh, okay. They want me to do an Oracle card first. Sorry. Oracle card first. 
And here we have, what do we have? Death. We need to allow, oh my gosh, that's funny. Right when I was looking at the, uh, uh, what am I, call it? the tarot cards, it was the death card. And they said, no, we want the, the right message, but we, we wanted it from the uh, Oracle deck. And that's funny. And it, again, there's a lot of, there's huge transformation here. Huge. There's flourishing in this skull. It, it's like you have made something out of nothing. Just flat out. Just, and oh my gosh, this death card reminds me of the magic stream, the, like the, the mountaintop of the mountain stream and things just flowing through it. I love this. This is a really huge transformation. Wow. Okay. Let's see what we have here. The wheel of fortune, the eight of wands. And the Empress, oh my gosh. Seriously? Listen, we have the sun, <laughs> the star, Empress, and Wheel of Fortune. Need I say more? Pound number one, I mean, seriously, need I say more? This, this is, the Wheel of Fortune is really, I, this is faded. This is something, yes, it is going to take time. I'm not going to lie about that. We have the Page of Swords. But I feel because it's taken so much, it, it's on the brink. It's on the brink of happening. That's what I'm seeing here with the Eight of Wands. It's, it's soon to come in. It is soon to come in. And you're going to feel this abundance with this Empress card. Just pure abundance. And I said that with the cow. So we have abundance with the cow. And we have abundance with the Empress. And just all of it all of it and it's going to be just this continual uh um income that you're making and and again it's all because you've already built on the you you've built this foundation with the beaver spirit i love this now if you are concerned or a little let down because of uh, of the length of time that this has taken the green of entering is here to, not only does it represent abundance, which obviously here we are, we have the sun, we have the empress, you just abundance galore, right? But it's also here to remind you to have an optimistic mindset, stay in a high frequency so that you can achieve this that you're looking for. Because I'll be honest with you, this looks amazing. I mean, I, again, I don't know what it is you do. I don't know what it is you're working on. But pile number one, this is amazing. This is far from amazing, like beyond amazing. Not far from it, like beyond it. It's like so advanced, so out there. It's out. It's outrageous. I love this for you. I absolutely do. All right, my dear ones, that was your reading for Paul 1. And so we meet again. Good luck. Hello, Paul number 2. You have selected the rose quartz along with the selenite. I chose two stones for every pile. Uh, the selenite is just to enhance the energies of each stone. Okay, let's take a look at your cards. We have Magic Prayer. Wow, beautiful. Hawk Spirit. Starfish Spirit. Friendship. Queen of Swords. King of Cups. Seven of Swords. The Hierophant and the King of Cups again. Wow. Okay. So right off the bat, I'm seeing that this has um, this has to do with love. We have this magic prayer in this card, and 
you can see this powerful person. She is coming into her own. You see the magic and, and as she's coming into her own, as she's coming into her own strength, she is transforming. Look at this. Look at all this magic around her. That's what I'm getting with this, um, with this magic prayer. And then we have Hawk Spirit. Let Spirit be your guide. And not only do I feel like this is about Spirit being your guide, I also feel like this is about you being focused on something. That's what I'm seeing right now. And then we have Starfish Spirit open to infinite possibility. You know, the starfish is a very curious creature. It um, does not have a brain and it feels, right? It's, it's a, it, 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 it moves through sensations, right? It, it's just that kind of, it's just that kind of creature. It's actually quite magical. And I, I feel like this is also saying, keep your spirits up. This is saying, stay hopeful. Stay, ho oh, wow, look at this. We have 32 and 32 on the Hawk Spirit and Magic Prayer. That adds up to the number five, which is change. And that was the first thing I said about the Magic Prayer. It's like she's changing, she's transforming forming, right? Coming into her strength. It's almost like a, a, a butterfly coming out of its chrysalis. Then we have friendship and it reads, fairies and humans alike need friends. Now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. You know, what I'm actually getting from this particular card is the three of cups energy. And I feel that you have to probably spend more time out with friends and building community with this, especially right next to this starfish with its arms stretched out. I really like this. And it's funny, it reminds me, look how, look at the, the starfish and the fairy wings. They look very, very similar. And look, even on the, the hair of the person, right? I just feel like things are flowing. Things are flowing. That's what I'm seeing. Then we have Queen of Swords, King of Cups, Seven of Swords. Very interesting. I feel like the Queen of Swords is, I feel like this is a very perceptive person, uh, along with the Hawk spirit, very perceptive, right? Very keen, um, insight and and i feel like this is you look at even the wings right the wings it, it's like it's like you know what to move forward towards and what to leave behind that's what i'm seeing with this queen of swords it's like you have an innate ability to come out of some suffering and and try to or some hurt or something and just come into your power it reminds me a lot of this magic prayer card yeah that's what i'm seeing here with this queen of swords very very interesting it's like you see you see your hurt as a double-edged sword on this Queen of Swords. It's like, yes, you feel the pain, but also you see the lesson in it. That's what I'm seeing here for you, uh, pal number two. Then we have the King of Cups. And the King of, Cu uh, King of Cups, King of Cups, oh my gosh, I can't speak, is about trusting and and again, I feel like this is also your energy. I, I feel like this is, you know, you just trusting and knowing that, that you 
are going to receive what you are to receive, what you are meant to receive. I feel like you're trusting the universe here, that things will happen for a reason at its time. That's what I'm getting with this King of Cups. I'm not even getting another person here with this King of Cups. I feel like both of this is you. I feel like this is your uh, yin-yang kind of feeling. And as I say that, I see the black and white on the uh, on this, I don't know what kind of bird this is, but on this on this particular bird. Very, 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 very interesting. Then we have this blue jay here on the Seven of Swords. And with the Seven of Swords, I'm I'm getting I feel like you you're you're resourceful. I feel like I feel like you are flexible and flexible in mind. I feel like you're yeah, like you're witty like the like the Queen of Swords, but I feel like you're flexible in your thinking. That's what I'm seeing here. I'm going to get a card as a clarification. Okay, we have Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> ah, as I said, divine timing. It, you know, that you trust the universe. That's funny. I'm going to get it. <laughs> um, and you know what? And we have the Eight of Wands. Wow. Okay. I feel like you are flexible in your thinking. I feel like you are very much into understanding the law of attraction and understanding that things will come to you in its own time. That's what I'm, it's what I said with, I, it's what I said it before the clarification and with the clarification, I got it anyways. I love that. Then with the Hierophant and the King of Cups, this King of Cups is definitely another person. The Hierophant here, I'm getting that this person is, in, in, okay, so before I continue, I feel like this is a card about marriage. Um, and I feel like it's not just a marriage just for marriage sake. It's about sharing the same values. I, I feel like this is about you trying to find somebody that shares the same values and, and the same wit and the same knowledge as you with this Hierophant. Um, I feel like this is, with this King of Cups, I feel like if they're not emotionally invested and they're not at your intellect level, I, I feel like this isn't, it's not something that you want. I feel like this is what your magic prayer is. Somebody that can understand you that, that is somebody like this, like this Hierophant energy that I was giving and that I was saying. And then we have the King of Cups. And the King of Cups is in this particular energy. I feel like this somebody, this person is somebody who's mature. I'm not saying that they're older than you. I'm seeing mature in a lot of aspects, if not all aspects of his life. I mean, he... No, okay, number one, look at how sharp dressed this person is, right? This person is sharp dressed. They're very, they look very intelligent. They look very at peace regardless of what is going on around them. And I feel like this person is incredibly grounded. All right, that's what I'm getting here for you, my dear pal number two. Sorry, I just knocked over a deck here. All right, I'm going to get advice here from Spirit. Oh, and you know what? The Hierophant is number five as well. So we have five, five, five. Oh, and the Starfish has five edges. Look at this. Wow. A whole lot of change is coming. Ascension and more wings. And let me tell you, you are definitely guided. You are definitely, definitely guided. Wow. And you know what? The Rose Quartz is about uh, developing meaningful um, friendships and strengthening bonds. Not only that, 
but it's also about uh, the number 32. By the way, before I cont continue on with the other thing, um, number 32 is about encouragement and support from your spirit. So here we are with number 32, Hawk Spirit and, and um, Magic Prayer. And then we have Ascension that lied, that fell right on it. And then we have um, number, what was I saying? The, I forgot. Oh, the Rose Quartz. That's what it was. The Rose Quartz. I feel like not only does it strengthen bonds, but it also allows you to be more receptive to true love. Which it looks like that's what we're wanting here, pal number two. That's what I'm seeing. We have the Empress card. I feel you know what? Uh, wow. Two of wands. That just like flew out. And the three of pentacles. Spirit here is saying, allow, uh, with the ascension card, allow spirit to guide you. Allow them to continue to bring you forth and light the path for you because this Empress card is abundant. They're wanting you to stay in this abundance. Stay in this energy that you have it all. Stay in this strength so that you are able to glow, okay? Then we have the Two of Wands and as you, the more you glow, Spirit is gonna start guiding you towards the right path. And I feel like that's already happening with this two of, or the throughout the whole reading, I'm seeing that it's already in process. And more sooner rather than later, you're going to start seeing a very direct path and spirit is going to guide you that way. Whether it's going to be um, by hearing, by seeing, but just pay, pay attention to the synchronicities um, that that you set alongside with spirit and and you're gonna start seeing how you're going to be guided that way and then we have the three of pentacles and remember i said with friendship i was getting the three of cups energy like a celebration being together and then we get the three of pentacles i do feel like you're going to meet this person when you're in a group that's what i'm seeing here for you guys i just i just feel like there's there's going to be, it, it, not only that, but I also feel like uh, this is spirit being a part of your team, right? But I feel like you're going to meet this person when you're in a in in a group setting. So if you do get invited somewhere, my dear pal number two, go. All right, that is what I saw in your reading. Congratulations. I, I don't know who you hoped for. I don't know what exactly it is you're wanting. As far as a maid, I don't know who that person is, but this this is lovely. Continue to listen to spirit. They are certainly guiding you, my dear ones. Stay in your strength. Stay in your power, okay? Until we meet again. Bye. Hello, pal number three. You have chosen the carnelian stone along with the selenite. I did choose two stones for each pile, one for the stone and then the selenite to enhance the energy of each stone. Okay, so let's take a look at your cards here. Solitude. Interesting. I'm getting a lot from this solitude card. Parrot spirit. Giraffe spirit. Moon energy. Page of Wands, Eight of Wands, Temperance, The Tower, and Eight of Cups. Wow. Okay. Right off the bat, with this Solitude card, I picked up so much. With the Solitude card, I'm seeing that Number one, the very first thing that comes to mind is that you're wanting peace. Um, peace, peace of mind, just, just peace. But I'm also seeing that 
you're doing a lot of reflecting, self-reflecting. Um, they, I just, I'm just seeing a lot of self-reflection, um, and I'm also seeing haze. I'm also seeing a foundation, like you're wanting a solid foundation. You don't really care where that foundation is because you are the solid foundation, truthfully. But I feel like you don't even care if it's in the middle of nowhere as long as it's solid. You know, that's that's what I'm seeing here with this particular image. And it's funny because I'm also seeing... Like there's a little light here and, and it looks like a little bit of a crown. And I feel like you're the queen of wands. I, I feel like that's your energy. You know, like I'm here and you know, you're you're holding the enlightenment, but really the enlightenment really belongs up in in your head. But I feel like you're about to walk out of this haze here in this imagery. That's very, very interesting. We have the parrot spirit, watch your words. Wow, so I'm seeing that, yes, you have to watch your words, I mean, as the card says, but I'm also seeing that when you can't, I feel like you take flight. Like you, when you can't hold it in anymore uh, and you want to say something, you're just like, you you leave. Because I feel like you're, you're kind of fed up is the energy that I'm picking up here. Because you're tired of people squawking that's what I'm seeing with this bird, with this parrot spirit. Then we have giraffe spirit. See the big picture. And look at the big old eyes on this beautiful giraffe and this gorgeous long lashes. And lashes, I don't know why I'm stuck on these lashes right now. That's what I'm honing in on. The, the, I feel like you've blended in long enough. And I feel like with these lashes, these are really about you standing out and it, it, as far as the lashes are concerned, seeing the big picture is about you really taking a step back and seeing things from a different angle, a higher perspective, and really looking at the big picture as to why things are happening. But I feel like you are already doing that with the reflection that I mentioned in the solitude card. But back to these lashes, I'm just seeing like lashes are there to protect, right? Protect the eye, protect the vision. Um, but the reason why I'm hon honing in on this is because I feel like you see clearly, or at least initially, naturally, I feel like you are an intuitive person. That's the energy that I'm getting. However, which is probably why I said the Queen of um, Wands here in the Solitude um, card. But I feel like, again, your, I feel like your vision has been clouded. Your thoughts have been clouded. And e even the, 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 the background of these birds, uh, of the parrot and the, the giraffe, it's like, it's a little muddied, right? It's a little blurry. And I feel like that's what's been happening. And these lashes, I feel I'm honing in on these lashes because I feel like they're there to kind of remove the film, to clear the vision or the lack of, right? To remove whatever is in the eye to clean it out. I love this. I love this. Then I'm also seeing, you know, I'm, I'm getting... Uh, I'm I'm getting Aries from this energy. I'm not saying you are Aries. Maybe you are, maybe you're not. This is a general reading. Maybe you have Aries. Maybe you were dealing with an Aries. I don't know. Uh, but I, I'm seeing an Aries sign in this giraffe also. So I, and, and I feel like this is really talking about your third eye chakra, but I am seeing Aries. Uh, moon energy. Surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. Literally what I said with the solitude card. I feel like you're clouded, right? Confused, right? 
and you're wanting peace. <laughs> Literally, I said that just with the very first card. I love that this is here saying this. And look at the moon right there in that, uh, in that card. With the Page of Wands, Eight of Wands, and Temperance. Really what I'm seeing here is you being courageous. You trying to start something new. I, I feel like this is you. And I know this is not the Three of Wands. But I feel like you're starting something new. You, you're walking through something. Whatever that something is, it could be a new adventure. It could be, you know, leaving somebody. It could be starting something. I don't know. But the, the, this Page of Wands card is making me feel that you are looking up to the sky and seeing all the possibilities and, and you're just moving forward saying, you know what? I know it's going to be difficult, but you know what? I'm okay with that because it's better than where I was. That's what I'm seeing here with this page of wands. Then we have the um, eight of wands. And really what I'm getting with this particular eight of wands is that you're wanting your freedom. You, you just want your uh, freedom to have peace. You don't care how you how you get your freedom as long as you you get your freedom and that's really what I'm getting here with this particular eight of wands. Then we have temperance, which is about peace and balance, right? Literally what we talked about with the solitude card. I love this. I love this. And I feel like this is really about finding your internal balance. And then we come to this tower card, which... I, do you see it kind of toppling over, just like top heavy? And I feel like this is just your mind just overwhelmed with so much. And I feel like this is the tower moment that happens. And I feel like it's an internal ta uh, tower moment, if I'm being honest. I'm, I'm just getting the sense that you're just saying, you know what? I'm done. I've had enough. And I, I can't deal with all, all of this noise that's happening in my head or all the confusion that's happening in my head because I'm seeing all of this is above, right? Above. And I'm not saying that you're wrong. I'm saying that I, I, I feel like someone has caused a lot of confusion. Maybe just your, the people around you, maybe the person, maybe work. I, I don't know what it is, place it into your own scenario. But I feel like once you find your balance, right? Because we have balance and, and we have the tower immediately. It's like once you find that you go, you know what? I'm ready to get like capture my balance and, and you're ready or you do find your balance. I feel like this tower moment happens on the inside. It's like a light switch. It happens and it's like, bam, I know what I'm doing. Eight of Cups energy comes in. And this is about a couple of different things. It could be about just walking away from something, which we mentioned here with the Page of Wands. But it can also be about self-discovery, trying to find a deeper meaning to what happened, why it happened, why you allowed it to happen. And moving away from that, moving away from that kind of energy so that it doesn't come through again that that's what i'm getting here oh and by the way the um carnelian stone is by the way there to dissolve feelings of uncertainty so if you know all this cloudiness that you have going on it also offers courage in times of new beginnings literally what we were talking about and all uh, Oh my gosh. It also provides uh, you the strength to get a stronger or place a stronger foundation or lay a stronger foundation. Wow, wow, wow. Literally everything we just said. All right, we have connect to heart. Yeah, and here's the duality again that I was seeing with the with the temperance card, right? 
Um, this is about connecting to your heart. Getting out of the head, trying to clear your head as much as possible and connecting to your heart so that you're able to find that peace. I'm going to see how we can do that, my dear ones. We're going to get some advice here. Wheel of Fortune. You know, pod number two had Wheel of Fortune too. I think, right? Maybe. No, they did not. It was a clarifier. Just kidding. Six of Wands. Higher Perspective. Victory. It's my Higher Perspective card. I love that card. And the Lovers. Yeah. Um, and with the Lovers here, to me, this is more about loving yourself. Again, connect to heart. Just having that connection to yourself. It To me, the connect to heart, the temperance, and the Lovers to me, really isn't much difference. This is about connecting to yourself, choosing yourself because the lovers is initially a choice card, but you have to choose how you're going to move forward, how you're going to find your peace. This is your choice. And ultimately with the wheel of fortune, this, I, everything is moving the way it needs to move. And sometimes you have to recognize, and I feel like you really do. You recognize that Sometimes things happen for a reason, you know, and I feel like that's you reflecting, right? In the, in the solitude card, you reflecting, okay, things happen for a reason and learn the lesson and then move on, right? Get that higher perspective with the six of wands because that higher perspective is what's going to give you that victory, right? It's going to allow you to, to, for people to see you differently, for you to see yourself differently so that you don't see yourself the way previous people saw you, you know, like you're in this dingy place, you know, you're in a higher place now. Why? Because your, um, your frequencies have elevated. Why? Because you have found your peace. You have found your balance. Once you find your balance, that's how this victory card comes in. That's how you get your higher perspective, right? That's what I'm seeing here. But the advice is connect to heart. Realize that there is, that this was faded. It sucks, I know, but sometimes you have to go, go through some hard crap to learn your lesson and get a different perspective so that you can make the proper changes to move forward and make better choices, right? choose yourself so that you're able to move forward and go go towards that self-discovery and find out why this was happening so that you're able to find your peace they want me to go one more okay eight of swords yeah at this point you have to realize that this is about you moving forward you don't hold yourself in this self-restraint idea because right now with this eight of swords this is really in your mind you you're able to walk away at any point in time these swords aren't holding you in these chains really aren't binding you and you can easily just remove the blindfold so this is really a self-restricting energy so you can choose to stay in the self-restricting energy or you can choose to find your peace and your freedom with this uh, eight of wands, right? This eight of wands and eight of swords are totally different energy. Totally. Oh my gosh, we have eight, eight, and eight. I didn't realize that in just now. And to me, if you watch my channel, you know that eight to me is the infinity sign. It's the constant flow of life, which by the way, is also the wheel of fortune and also was in the moon energy, surrender to the natural ebb and flows of life. Flat out, that's what this is about. But you have to, you have to choose. Are you going to choose victory? Or are you going to choose and, and get that higher perspective? Or are you going to keep repeating the cycle? and stay in this self-restricting energy, right? Choice is yours, my dear palm number three. All right, but this, is, this has been your reading. I hope that you do what is best for you and you do find your peace, my dear ones. 
All right, until we meet again. Bye.